We can go anywhere. Anywhere with this look. What's up, y'all? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we will be installing this orange unit from Moon Hairs. Yes. Um, if you watch part one, comment down below. Um, part one. So I know you watched it. Um, in part one, I did the color and the plucking, and I also showed you guys how to take care of your hair under your wig so that your hair is actually growing and retaining the length and, you know, you ain't losing your edges. So today, we will be installing this unit, and I'll show y'all how I got this look. Oh, and I'm going to be doing my, my makeup, but I'm not doing my makeup until I get home because we're going out tonight, so... That will be not here at my job. It will be at home. So so make sure you like and subscribe before we even continue. And yeah. Okay, so I'm about to tell y'all everything that you'll need today. So you'll need a wig cap. A wig cap. I got my wig cap from Moon Hair. They sent me this HD wig cap. You will need some a lot of body. I'm going to be using the 20, even 24 hour edge tamer. You can use any edge control. Use what you got. If you got a different mousse, use that. If you got a different edge control, use that. The Edge Fixer by Red. Fantasia Spritz. Liquid mousse. Even Lace Wonder Bond Spray. Bold Hold Liquid Gold. And then for my adhesive, I'm using Ghost Bond Extra Moisture Control. This is everything that I'll be using to install the wig, so I'll be showing y'all exactly how I achieved this look. I don't know the exact style I'm going to go for. I'm going to look on Pinterest, so, but let's worry about getting it on our head. All right, first things first, before you put on the wig cap, brush those edges back. That's what you need the edge control for. Now, wig cap. It comes with two wig caps, you know, so I always love that. Thank you, Moon Hair. Love ya. Okay, so how I do my wig caps, I just start off by with the airs. You don't have to um like drag it all the way down past your eyelids and then cut the two holes. No, I'm not doing that. Cut your ears out first though. This this is why I'm cutting these ears out. I will say this wig cap is kind of tight. Like I have a small head, and this is a small wig cap. So if you got a, if you know you got a big head, um, get the Donna wig caps. But I appreciate y'all for still sending this over. But I know I have some big headed clients, and this will not fit them. You know, I know people with big heads. And they needed a different wig cap. So for the way that I do wig caps is I just I do it the same way I would apply like my wigs if I just do one layer. I love the ghost bond because I am more on the oily side and this will keep my wigs on for more than a week. I'm not gonna hold you. When I use the bold hold active, I like the bold hold for my wig cap, the liquid gold, but the bold hold active meant for like oily skin. I'll be having my wig come off in like two days and I look to be up and stuck with the ghost bond so I've been doing ghost bond and then I just you know use the tail end of my rat tail comb and smooth it out toward my hairline. What I also like about the ghost bond is it dries super quickly, so you don't have to spend a lot of time doing all the blow drying and the waiting and the blow drying and the wigging. When you're doing the layers for to actually adhere the wig, you do have to blow dry it. But for this part, I usually don't have to blow dry it. Also, what you will need is a rat tail comb. I don't think I mentioned that, but in between, I always clean off the tip of my comb just to keep everything clean. So. Have some alcohol laid around. I have like a whole bunch of alcohol everywhere at my home, my job, because I need rubbing alcohol, so I always have it laying around. But clean off your rat tail comb because you don't want any old glue. Having old glue like caked up on your comb will definitely affect how it lays. But they'll drip quick. It dried. It dried in a matter of me talking to y'all. I am going to um, tint this wig cap because that's what I always do. I'm using the Melt Cosmetics. Um, this is their cream sculpting 
kit and I'm using like this brown shade it's like the lightest shade in this this is meant for like darker complexions and this is by Melt Cosmetics but if you're at home you don't have this you can use any powder or cream foundation the little ruby kiss foundations at the hair store are usually pretty good this is what i'm using because as you can see like where the adhesive is you see it's like a little bit like darker more flesh colored so i'm just trying to match this wig cap to my fleshy colored looking skin so it's giving skin and not ashy wig cap in me okay so now I'm giving bald. Okay. Reason why you didn't have to pull it all the way down and cut the two holes out because you pulled it down far enough. Don't cut it from here the middle. Cut it from above the this part. Let me show you why. Cut it above the edge of your wig cap. Let me show you why. The reason why you don't cut the middle is you're just gonna flip it right above your head like that. And now the back of your hair is tucked in your wig cap so you don't have to like worry about sewing it down and doing the most. And I will also be using that same color on the inside of my wig which I'll be doing off camera. Now to put this bad boy on. Also, what I liked about this wig is that it came with a nice, thick, tightening band. You know, you know the ones. Not just like, it has the two little hooks, but it comes with an adjustable band. I like when wigs have that because I just feel like it gets tighter, it's more sturdier, and all that jazz. Right now, I look like carrot top. Um, I'm just cutting these sides, the sides of this lace off because wigs usually come with like so much extra lace on the side so yeah cut that off if you can see um in my last video i showed i told you guys about like plucking and before i plucked the wig i folded it in half to give me a guide of where my middle part will be so this is that so this is helping me the, the little crease in my wig is also helping me see where i should cut the ear tabs off so i really feel like that's an important step that you don't want to miss so watch that video for that tea all right so this is the pre-trial what she's looking like this is where my crease is falling so that's where a middle part would be if i was to wear it it's falling flat on both sides which we love and yeah, I swear I look good in every color like no shade with it no hockey shade but like every hair color I tried I look good in like I don't I don't get that like if there's a hair color you don't think I could do comment it down below so I could prove you <sighs> let me put y'all on to some more tea so if you are fair skinned like me use a um like a uh, flesh colored um eyeliner pencil so you can mark where you're going to put the glue. If you are brown skin, use something that's closer to your skin complexion because um, a white one will show up under the glue. So use something that's close to your skin complexion to mark out and outline where you're going to put it. So this is where I want the ear to fall so I'm going to put the glue right there. What I do is you could do one on the outside and then put a dot on the inside and they should fall in the same spot. Don't have to be heavy handed with this. It's just as a guideline. And this eyeliner pencil is from BH Cosmetics. This is Power Pencil from BH Cosmetics, so yeah. So now we got our little eye outline of where the glue should be going to. So the same way that I did the wig cap is how I do the glue. Also, what I like about this glue, even though this, <laughs> even though this video video is about this hair, but let me tell you about this glue. I like the fact that it comes off super easy. All I use is alcohol. Sometimes I don't need to use alcohol. If you've seen in my last video, after two weeks, it, it just slid off. But it comes off super easy if I wanted to take it off early and it doesn't pull out my edges. So. I'm gonna stick by it. If y'all have any recommendations or something that y'all wanna try, try out, have me try out before y'all spend your own money, let me know in the comments down below. I put my glue behind, a little bit behind my wig cap. 
and the same method that I use to do the wig cap is what I'm doing here. Except for, I'm gonna do this maybe three, maybe four times. Probably four layers of glue. I've been doing four layers of glue. I like that for me, so four times. But I'll do it once for y'all on here. You see how quickly that glue dries? Like, I don't even have to blow dry yet. I can just air dry it like this. But I'm gonna do about three other layers off camera. But you can see, you get the gist. I clean off the tip of this in between layers. That always helps so that it allows it to spread smoothly and evenly. So just keep that in mind. Boom, okay, we got our four layers on. Pull this down. Just gently pull it down and the dots should meet the dots that we already made. This part is the most delicate part I feel like. And then use the flat part of your comb to really press this lace in. Okay, carrot top. Ow! Okay, so honestly, the easiest way to get that wig band on is by putting your hair up. So, put that wig hair up, get it out the way. I'm really putting y'all onto some real tea in this video. Like, if you found it useful, any of this information useful, the least you can do is like my video. So, take a flat brush, a flat head brush, and I'm gonna be using my Fantasia Firm Hold Spritz, and I spray it on the brush and then I kind of just paint the lace, paint it back. I use a brush because I found that this is like the easiest method for me. If you have something that works for you, then do what works for you, but I'm a messy person. It definitely reduces the mess for me. And as you do this, the little dots that we make, they're starting to disappear, but we're also going to like cut it off so you don't really have to worry about it. Now I'm taking my wig band, my moon hair wig band, pretty in pink, stretching it, and I am tying it real tight to my head, and I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for probably about like 10 minutes. Oh, who's having today? Oh, goodness gracious. Cut off the circulation of all my brain cells. Like, what? I honestly usually don't do baby hairs, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting better at the baby hair thing, so I want these to be like really cute and fluffy, so I'm hoping it does what I needed to do today. If it doesn't, don't listen to anything, <laughs> anything on this part about the baby hairs, okay? I'm literally just taking out a super small amount. I want them to be very baby hair. I don't want big soups. I'm not really like a big soupy type of girl. I want it to like just be kind of like cute. With the curly hair, I don't really mind like a cute little baby hair moment. This is going back up in the clip. Okay, now we got our baby hair sectioned out. I'm gonna take my angle brush again and now I'm gonna use my even wonder and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the Fantasia look at most. For this one, I'm gonna go behind the baby hair and underneath the baby hair also. Something is telling me that I'm going to be going out late. Every time I be trying to go out at a reasonable time, I do not be leaving the house till like 11.15. <laughs> like what the hell? I don't know what that's about. Something about this time is not the same time that we used to have back in the day. Okay. Now, now I am doing the same thing, stretching it out. Tie it so tight that you feel like your brain is going to come out the side of your ears. Ugh. I'm going under the dryer for another 10 minutes. Oh my lanta. This is hot. My eyes are all dry. You're just gonna cut down the middle. Okay, take these clips out. Actually, I'm putting these clips back in. So I can cut off me legs. Cut off me legs! 
cut off your lace. I don't know why I have to turn everything into a song, but I do. Okay? My life is a musical. I feel like for the best results, you have to use an eyebrow razor to cut your lace. I've used the scissors plenty of times, and the scissors just don't get it as as an eyebrow razor. So I just cut it down the middle. I think the eyebrow razor works the best is because you can get like a nice, good, jagged edge. Will you be my wifey? I think that's them. I hope that's jagged edge. Yes, I'll be your wifey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that jagged edge? Someone let me know. I swear, every time I do wigs, I learn to unmute. Because why did I just start doing all that fast like this? And then I'm like, oh wow, like I'm actually coming out. So yeah, do it. Do it like this. Do it. <laughs> do it like a little fast saw or something like that. I always cut myself though. That's the one thing. Now we can move on to styling the edges. It is a little bit of white shadow, but after I do my makeup and stuff and put my wig band back on on a ride home, it'll be gone even though we aren't done like look how good it looks pulled back this is a lot of hair though i will say it's a lot i'm just going to hot comb this down okay so for your edges what you'll be needing is one of these little what is this called this is a specific name for this little teeny tiny flyer but get a teeny tiny flyer like this like either a Something like that. One of those small flat irons. I'm gonna be using my eyebrow razor to cut off. For these little top pieces, I'm going to, oh, just burn myself. That's what I'm gonna do. Curl them, curl them toward my face. all the pieces I'm gonna curl toward my face you can curl under or you can curl toward it's really all in your preference what works best for you I'm still working on the baby hair thing I'm not gonna lie yep that's how we work that one like says his grandmother said I'm just getting a feel of like how it's gonna lay so take a little bit of your edge chamber or whatever edge control that you have I literally just put it at the root because the lot of body will be doing the rest of the work for us. Since I like them fluffy, I try to use like minimal product, especially minimal of the edge control. Then take the lot of body, put it on the comb side, and I just kind of dive it on there. I don't know how to explain this, I'm sorry. This part I don't know how to explain because it's, it's still something I'm trying to master and work out. When you're making your baby hairs, focus on like a C motion, like finger waves. So if you make that C motion, you should be good. I'm honestly just playing with these baby hairs and seeing what it's what the vibe is given for the night, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just freestyling right now. This one right here, I really like. So we're gonna keep this little soup. We are going to keep that one right there. Like that. Like that. You can also use the tail end of your rat tail. I'm gonna be fluffing these out later, so definition to the tail end of your baby hair. I hope you guys found this video useful. You know what would be pissing me off? If y'all watch baddies, right? All of them always got on wigs. But you know what would be pissing me the off is they'll sit for hours, get their hair and makeup done just to get it snatched off. Girl, just get a silk press or something with your natural hair. Stop wasting that lady's time doing your hair. I mean, I guess that is the point of having a glam team so that they can re-put your wig back on later after you get that shit snatched off. 
But that be sending me, like, every time. Like, I'm sorry. I can never be on a show like Baddies because I care about my hair too much. Like, I literally did not spend the last three years of my life growing out my hair and making sure that it is as healthy as possible for a bitch to take my edges clean off in five minutes. Like, they literally be getting their edges waxed off. And that be sending me. <laughs> it really does. Like... Spending all this time on these damn baby hairs, making sure they're baby hair into perfection just to get it snatched off is crazy. Like, I would be seething. I'm sorry. If I was the hair and makeup, I would be like, bitch, y'all got me fucked up. Ooh, who just booked me? Ew. Y'all know I love when y'all book. Period. Book y'all appointments at the way canvas. Com. And I love when y'all paint. Well, that be my shit. So if you ever in Boston or in Massachusetts, come see your girl. Come get service by me. Like, it's an experience. Now we can move on to styling. I need to look up some Pinterest ideas because I don't know how I'm gonna wear this hair. Like, we can go, we can go anywhere. Anywhere with this look. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I want to do like two braids, like going back. Also, I did kind of mess up a little bit earlier. You remember when I was telling you all about that crease I put in my wig? I accidentally kind of put it to the side. <laughs> so, it's not directly in the middle, but it's in the middle enough. But you got to do the best you can with what you got, baby. So now, take your wax stick and flatten out this part right here. Hopefully I'm out of here by 8 so I can go home and do my makeup and leave at a reasonable time. Even though I know I'm not leaving until 11. The downside about Boston is we close so early. Like, why does everything close at 2 o'clock? Okay, got my wax on there and I'm just gonna flatten out this bad boy. I'm not gonna lie, I like this wax stick the best also. They Red by Kiss, they have some pretty good products for wig styling. I've used the Kenra wax stick and a few other wax sticks. So far, I like that one the best. And it's inexpensive, which I love. Okay, so for this braid, I'm going to do it on like a diagonal. And now I'm taking it off of the scalp. But I didn't braid all the way back to the edge of the front, so just far back enough so it'll make sense. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing exactly to my hair. So I'm like, do I want to go for like a space bunny type of moment? Okay, I'm kind of feeling where this is going, so I think this is where I'm going to take it. I like the braid coming out, especially when I wet it. I think it'll be cuter because it's Oko. Okay. This mousse is from Curl Habit. if I'm gonna keep the bun I definitely like the braided moment but I kind of also just like it regular like regular and juicy like mm -hmm. I don't know boo-boos I don't know let's try the other side when I'm concentrating I always bite my lips like literally that's something I always did since I was a kid in dance class, my mom will be like, stop biting your lips. Lady, I'm concentrating. And I never broke out of the habit of biting your lips when I'm concentrating. I am getting some shedding, so. Just a FYI, if you do purchase this unit, so you know what to expect. But overall, I'm not gonna lie, I still like it. Like, it's pretty juicy to the end. 
It was easy to work with. You probably don't have to pluck as much as I did since it does. I'm experiencing some shedding, but hey, what is a girl to do? What is a girl to do? I'm gonna change this baby hair also. I'm not really feeling that one. Like, I like how these ones are on this side, but this one's like really not that girl in comparison to, to the other side. So I left the braid out and I wrapped the hair around the braid. That's what I did the first time. And then you gotta pin it. Okay, on the plus side, you can't not see the tracks, which I love for me because that was gonna stress me out. And I just put the plant in. Make sure you grab the hairspray and not the rubbing alcohol. and just wrap the braid around so you can kind of see like you see the braid in the buns that's cute right that is cute right now like wow girl i didn't even get this from pinterest i just thought of it <laughs> i was like let me go to pinterest and then i was like you know what i know what i'm doing the perimeter you can um like these parts just hit that with your comb real quick Okay, I fixed this edge, so it's definitely doing better. I'm like, now I'm so scared, got PTSD, like, damn, this better be water and not rubbing alcohol, because I just fucked that up. Even though, I'm not going to lie, the side with the rubber alcohol, it looked pretty good. <laughs> and this shampoo bottle just has leave-in conditioner. Hope these curls really get juicy. And I'm just finger combing it because, like I said, this hair is kind of delicate. Not gonna lie to y'all. Not a liar. Not a liar. Even though this is a sponsored video, not a liar. Like, it's a good wig. Don't get me wrong. Like, the wig is still popping. That's the only con I can say for right now. But other than that, I'm loving her. Make sure you get those ends because you want it to be popping from the rooter to the tutor. If you really want to do some up, what you can do is, like, take it from the end and just squeeze. Just squeeze. This will definitely help just in the work those curls up. I do want it a little bit more puffy, so I know that by the time I go out, y'all know I ain't going out to another couple hours. Even when it shouldn't take me that long, but it's like I am just a whole production. I gotta come back and make a video for y'all on my makeup. So because we got finished look together, I told them I would do my makeup. <laughs> so I'm doing my makeup for y'all. But yes, this is what the hair looks like. Isn't this such a pretty look? Yes, it is. I know. You don't have to tell me. But comment down below if you think it's pretty. Okay, so I'm back home. Just got out the shower. Just got, you know, dressed. Put my lotion on that good jazz and stuff on. Um, I'm not keeping my hair like this because it honestly just doesn't go on my outfit. Even though I like the hairstyle, it's just not the vibe for this look. Like, this is more of, like, a different fun outfit. Okay, so I am going to try and just re-fluff these baby hairs out. So I'm just literally just combing it out. They're not so, like, stiff and hard. You get what I'm saying? See, I told y'all I was going to be rushing. I always rush. Like, yeah, I'm not keeping my hair like this. I officially have decided that. So I'm going to start taking this down. But if you like this hairstyle, you're welcome. Because you can always recreate it yourself now. Because I'll keep the last footage in for y'all, but... For this outfit, I don't want this here, so I don't. Sorry to break it to y'all. All right, so let's move on to the makeup. For primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. For brows, I'm using this Pink Honey Original Super Holt Brow Gel. I'm like <laughs> literally trying to do this as fast as I can. For my brows, I'm using the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape in the shade 27H. And I just use this to carve out my brows. Ugh! Bro, doing your makeup quick and under pressure is hard. It's hard. But luckily for me, I don't have to work at 9 in the morning. Because y'all will do that. Y'all will work at 9. And I will go out the night before knowing I work at 9 a.m. sharp. But hey, at least I made it on time. 
I'm just gonna buff that out so before I do that I'm gonna be using my RCMA highlight and contour palette to highlight under my under eye area not my under eye but my mid face like the middle of my face this is what I use and I'm using this third shade in this mini palette and this is the light palette I usually like to let the concealer under my eyes just sit. Um, it gives higher coverage, so I let it sit, do that, and then blend it out. But um, I blend it out after I place where I'm going to put my contour. So For my contour color, I am using the Yoma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte, Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in the shade Brown Sugar, so T1W. I use foundation for contour because I'm not going to be as much coverage as a concealer and it's going to get the job done so I like to use like a warm shade to contour because I like that golden look so I don't use like cool shades I use a warm shade. forehead and you have baby hairs just do it gently and just use like a tapping motion I find that to be the easiest because you shouldn't have that much product on your brush anyways you really want to work that product up so it shouldn't just be like you're stamping on product the product you should build it up and that's why I like this foundation because it definitely has like a buildable coverage see I cannot lift my hands up in the air and party like we just don't care tonight because my titties gonna be out now I'm taking my Danessa Myricks Luxe Cream Palette and this one is the Feminist um I dogged this girl out <laughs> I'm using this this shade sorry bro this brush I dog this brush out too. This is a BH cosmetic brush. I, I can't even tell you what brush this is if I wanted to because it's it's dogged. But this is like a pink color, so I'm going for pink blush today. And I like a baby doll look, so I focus my blush on the middle of my face. And for foundation, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, and this is the shade Barcelona. I know I look like an Oompa Loompa right now. When I get into different lighting, it's gonna make sense. I have this like yellow light blaring on me, so that's why I'm definitely giving Oompa Loompa doobity doop. But <laughs> and for concealer, I'm using my Tarte Ultra Cream Creamy again, and then I'm gonna use the. Yoma Stay Woke Concealer in the shade Pearl White. And for the center of my face and the inner corners, this is where I'm going to use the Pearl White. Just because I'm short on time, I'm going to blend my concealer off camera and put on my powder. Um, for powder, I'm going to be using the RCMA to set my face. And yeah, so when I get to the eye look, because the main focus of this makeup part is honestly the glossy lid. So when I get to the eye lid, I will be back. And for my eyes, okay, so I'm back with my powder on. And I forgot a powder puff, so that pissed me off, so... We are just winging it, man. So, for this look, you only need one palette, and that's the palette that you're either going to use as your powder bronzer. So, I'm using the Morphe AM palette. Ooh, AM. I'm trying to go fast because, one, my camera's going to die, and two, or it's supposed to be going out. So, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm literally trying. I have a new one, but... This one still got some some makeup in it. I used a new one on my client. <laughs> my clients. So I'm dipping into these first two shades as the perimeter 
um, contour and then I'm going to use this dark shade as my shadow. I'm using the lighter two colors as like a perimeter and contour color for my eyeshadow and then I'm going to just focus that darker color on the inner corner. This look is so simple like as easy and quick as I'm doing this is how you can do it. Do not be scared because these are just light colors so there's not going to be any pig like that much pigment to it because they're this is a bronzer palette not an eyeshadow palette so you can really work on like building up the color if you want but usually I just like it to look pretty natural so I don't really go too hard and then I just focus that brown color on the middle part of my lid you see that was so simple makeup is fun and just bury those colors together and period That's literally all you need. I love these Morphe um, bronzer palettes in every shade. The dark one looks very good on brown skin. It might be like $20. That's inexpensive, especially if it's just, like, just for you. That's a pretty good deal. Um, this doesn't have any writing on it anymore, but this is the L Face and Eye Gloss. So that's what I'm going to be using to make my lid glossy. So you can honestly use the same brush that you just used. And you're just going to swipe it on your eye. At first, it goes on pretty, like, um, white. And then I like to just use my finger to blend it out. And then it just turns clear. This one has, like, a little bit of sparkle on it. So it does ca capture the light very nicely. But I'm not going to hold you. The, my favorite eye gloss is the Danessa Myricks gloss I don't know why but that one just looks super duper glossy this one is like at first it does like more of a shimmery type of thing but then when it settles on your skin it like kind of melts in and gets more of like that glossy look so now I'm taking another flat brush um I don't know where this brush is from but it's a flat brush if you have any flat brush you're gonna use that dark, darkest shade again and just go underneath your eye. And I'm not putting on any mascara, no eyeliner. I'm just going underneath the eye, just like that. So simple. And for blush, I love a pink blush. I'm using Juvia's Volume 4 blush. And I'm gonna use the this one. And I'm using my same brush that I did my powder. And now I'm looking like somebody. Ugh. But I'm using the same brush that I did my um, brown thing with. Alright, I'm gonna go fix my hair and like make it not so poofy. And I'll be back. Okay, so I changed my hair. I just did like a little side part with a braid on the side. So this is a little bit cuter for the outfit that I'm wearing. I'm just gonna... Dust off her makeup. Gotta do this real quick because she's on her way. She's gonna be here in like five minutes. Okay, setting spray. I'm using Kiss Professional Matte Setting Spray. And for highlights, I'm using this Flint Fancy Glow Balm or Glitter Balm, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, this is what I'll be using. And I'm using the same brush I've been using this whole tutorial. You really don't need like a million different things. When I do makeup on my clients, this is like the same routine that I follow. Okay, I'm gonna go finish getting ready and I'll be back. Okay, so for lips, I'm just using some Fenty Gloss. This is in the shade, mm, is it Fenty Glow? 
I don't know. I guess 50 low. Yeah. Period. And this is the final look. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you like this video, if you will be purchasing this hair, if you purchase hair from this company before. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm also gonna put some different clips of my makeup and my hair and some videos in the next slide. So look at that. All right, so here are my final thoughts. I think the hair is very good. I appreciate how they packaged the hair. That was definitely a plus. It was definitely easy to work with in color. I will say don't pluck it as much as I did because you will experience shedding. But overall, the hair is still beautiful and lustrous. I wore this wig three other times and it's still pretty full. Overall, I would give this company about an 8 out of 10. The customer service is great, the packaging was great, and the hair is pretty beautiful and nice. If you want to see more of me, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Raja White. And thanks for watching. Bye.